Look now at Naples, Florida. Florida, as we know, in the path of Milton, you can see the water is very choppy and they're getting a lot of rain there ahead of the storm making landfall in about a couple hours here. Let's check in with meteorologist Devin Lucy for the latest on the forecast and the storm track. Devin. Yeah, I was just doing the calculations. It looks like it's going to be between Port Charlotte and Tampa where this is going to be hitting is just under about three hours from now, about 50 miles away from the center of the eye wall before it moves on shore. So we've actually been able to effort up Tampa radar and Doppler radar here is going to show where that eye wall actually closed in today from satellite imagery. We were able to show is this uh, undergone a transition in the storm. The, the front that's brought in all of our beautiful air has actually been working with this storm to keep it from being completely tropical and it started to weaken it as well. Wind shear coming together. So good things that this wasn't a cat four, cat five. I mean, still a very strong storm. Look at the tornado warnings still from Palm Bay to Port St. Lucie to West Palm. Anything in the purple shades that are showing up confirmed tornadoes. You don't want to see bright pink. That's a tornado emergency. Let's stop radar so we can just see where we are at this very point. And what I really want to get to is where we've got the worst of the storm that is just offshore. We can actually find our Doppler radar velocity data and with that velocity show you exactly how strong some of those winds are at this very time. Now granted these are pretty high up in the air, but right around the eye wall we've got some of these areas showing 116 120 mile per hour winds. Even near Port Charlotte winds already at 70 miles per hour. So those are a little bit higher in the air, but still give you an indication strong, at least tropical storm force winds that are there already that have been there all day. And when you go back to radar, you can really clearly see that that eye wall is still just a ways away. But at the distance where I've calculated this, it could be around Venice where this makes landfall. And this is going to be a little bit earlier or later into the evening. What are we seeing for the rainfall so far? We've also gotten some of this rainfall pretty incredible, leading ahead of the worst of it in the eye walls. We experienced, unfortunately, with Francine, remember a few weeks ago, it was right around that eye wall where those very heaviest rain rates came, gave us some of the worst of the flooding. Could be a similar situation, several inches of rain that are already here, and most of that that could be even worse could be coming our way in just one minute. So let's see what we've got for the strong winds, what we are watching for this system to come and track our way or at least Florida's way for this very beginning. There's the tornado watches in effect, the tornado warnings that are there, Port St. Lucie, just a severe aspect of that particular storm that's here. These are current wind gusts, 64 Cape Coral, 46 in Bradenton right now. Here's the forecast, winds could be up to 92 as the eye walls making its way on shore, but look what happens as it makes its way northeast. Winds could be 96 even in Daytona Beach as we get into early Thursday morning. Orlando still with hurricane force winds. This is why we're still having the hurricane warnings all the way through the state. We have incredible storm surge that possibly is up to as high as nine feet to 12 feet. In some cases, storm surge had been taken down for some recent estimates a couple days ago as weakening occurred a bit earlier and is ongoing. Rainfall totals, and I just put a few on for you, but already near six inches in Sarasota, five in St. Pete and two already in about Tampa. Look at this on top of what's already there. Projections are maybe 17 more inches of rain could come down. Latest tracks still show it being hurricane status as it makes its way through the state, but it'll all be out of here as we get towards tomorrow afternoon. So that's what's going on right now. We'll continue to track and monitor the updates. Still have flood watches and number of flood warnings and just another forecast to show that that storm as it makes its way through it won't be until tomorrow afternoon till it's totally done. Our weather has been completely different. We've got 80s, but comfy with the humidity that's been lower. Humidity goes down even more. We start off 50s North Shore tomorrow morning. Plenty of sunshine during the day. Similar temperatures around 86, but the dew points drop just a little bit more into the 50s. Still have some strong winds offshore for small craft advisory, but I'll tell you here next week an even stronger front rolls through Tuesday. You are seeing that right a high of 74 in New Orleans by this time next week and could start off at the airport at 59. A piece of historic art thought to be stolen is discovered in New Orleans.